Okay, ladies, so how do you keep it together so that you don't go overboard when you are dating a guy that suddenly comes along that you're like, oh, so hot for, right? Because I've seen it happen a lot of times. And in fact, I actually talk about this in my first book, Stop Being a Bitch and Get a Boyfriend. That's on Amazon. It's actually a fun book. Nobody needs to get upset with me calling ladies bitches. I make a joke about it. Um, it's all good. But here's the thing. We do need to laugh at ourselves more and not take ourselves so seriously. But this does go hand in hand with not going off the deep end too soon. So when it is a new anything, when it's a new friendship you have with someone, when it's a new relationship. And honestly, I can't necessarily say that it's an actual relationship if you've just started dating the guy, okay? Um, you need to still keep your eggs in other baskets, okay? I know that I've dealt with women who they say to me, Gina, take me out of your database. I just met a guy. We've gone on like one or two dates, okay? This is going off the deep end. You're, you're in too deep too soon, okay? And even if they bum rush you, which means they're pushing you into it, you've got to hit the brakes because a good, healthy relationship doesn't go from zero to 100. It really doesn't. Only in movies, maybe, but not in real life, okay? So the way you keep it together is when, there are, when you have freak out moments and he's not calling, realize that this is the time where you really, the only way to succeed is keeping your cool. The more you text him, the more you reach out to him, the more you do this, the, the quicker he's gonna pull away. It's a turnoff, just as if a guy was doing it to you, you could meet a guy you're hot for, and if he's too much, it's gonna turn you off.